The Orlando Guardians will receive the kick. Justin Rogers, you know the kick rule. If you don't, can't go until the player touches it. Both players five yards apart. There goes Rogers on the opening kick of the game. He's going to take it past the 30-yard line, which is where we bring in former first-round pick of the Denver Broncos in 2016, quarterback Paxton Lynch. Here we go, here we go. A flex right zoom, quick ace left, flank right, zoom, quick ace left, Y stick X hitch, hold on, ready? Quick ace left. Here we go. What a Wait, sir. First down, Lynch to throw, quick shot to the right, Lance Lenore on the reception. Good start there for Orlando. It's Robert Ford, the offensive coordinator Cadillac, here for him throughout the night. Bubble. Cadillac, bubble. bubble. Cadillac, Cadillac. Cadillac. Here we go. Bernard! 180! Right side! They run there on second and short. Jermaine Martin on the carry. And it looks as if that will be enough for the first down. And Joey, it's all about getting a good start if you're the Guardians here on offense. Yeah, I, I love the hitch call to begin a game. It gets your quarterback in a rhythm. It's an easy throw. Gets a receiver a touch. And it gets you five or six yards, which gives you short distance to get to a first down. Here we go, here we go. Five. Play fake for Lynch, rolls out, finds his man out of the backfield. That's Cody Latimer. You heard him talking to Matt Klain, gonna need everybody. And that's a nice game for the Guardians for Latimer, forced out by Keelan Kennedy and a gain of 16. And another easy play. Get outside the pocket, drop it off to Latimer, out in the flat, and he gets a big gain. Now, as they get closer to the four, they get closer to this red zone, this is where Orlando has to find a way to start getting some of these drives into the end zone. Another first down, another play fake to Latimer. He's tackled immediately. That's good defense by the Vipers, Deontay Anderson, and that'll be a loss of one. Yeah, if that block isn't made on the outside, the guy in front of that receiver, this play has no chance. And this is the way to come up, get around the blocker, doesn't even touch him, and make a tackle. And now you set up a second and long. Latimer, four catches, 57 yards a week ago, already apparent. He's going to be Lynch's guy early in this uh, one. Oh, yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Here you go. 180! Second and 11. That's Martin off the left side. Had an initial crease, closed down nicely. Gain of four, going to bring up third and long. C.J. Avery brings him down. Hey, on two, on two, on two, on two, on two. Twins right, scat right, Seminole. On two, ready? Seminole. Two. Scat right. Here we go. Yeah, I need my mic Wait, high. So first third down for Orlando. Flag on the play. Lynch forced out of the pocket. And Paxton Lynch has this in his game. He's going to get the first down easily. It's going to be an offsides on Vegas. It's a gain of eight, so they will get a first down forced out by Maximilian Roberts. Offside, number 28, defense. That penalty is declined. Result of play is a first down. So check that, Maximilian Roberts is the one that jumped off sides. And Joey Paxton Lynch coming out of Memphis. He was very much a dual threat guy. He's got this in his game. And he's 6'7", 244. And you're thinking, take a shot downfield. It's an offsides call, but he saw open Six. grass and goes and gets the first down himself. Again, about finishing drives for Orlando. Lynch stands tall in the pocket, incomplete, intended for Logan Carter. Former walk on at Oklahoma State. The fifth different starting offensive line combination for Orlando tonight. Can't get any continuity up front. That's going to be big to watch to see if Vegas can take advantage with pressure. And that's what every coach we talked to has said. The toughest part of putting together a team is getting that offensive line together. And they've had five different starting lineups. Eighth play of the drive. They give up the middle to Martin. Martin gets some good yardage on second and ten. And that's going to bring up third and shorts. On the ball, on the ball. QB sneak. QB sneak. Let's go. On the ball. There you go. 
quarterback that side. You hear the offensive coordinator, Robert Ford, say we're gonna QB sneak it. Good for two, another first down for the Guardians. It looks as if Ball spotted at the 20. Pick right, alert, ace right, fetch. All one, ready? Here we go. Hey, alert, 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 alert. Ta da! 180. What's that? Solid opening drive. Lynch, left side. Good catch, Charleston Rambo's gonna have enough for a first down. C.J. Avery there, Vegas jumps the route. Rambo, the talented receiver out of Miami, is able to make it first. And yeah, goal. Lynch got away with one here. He went late to the hitch. Usually this means trouble, you could see he almost got there and almost deflected it, but because Lynch in the big arm was able to get it out there to the flat. So first and goal, 11th play of the drive. What is that? Martin up the middle. Martin using his feet in early goal line stand for Vegas. Peter Tamo Penu holds him up. Second and goal. The first time tonight we'll see the backup quarterback, Quentin Flowers, play this college ball in South Florida. Just a week on this roster, Joey. He obviously brings another development, another element to this offense, ability to run the ball. And there you see it. Quentin Flowers tries to cut it back. What a stop by Vegas' defense there at the goal line. Outstanding play by Vegas' defense. It looked like Flowers had a crease. Looked Trot like it's going to be one-on-one, -on -one, get outside. Usually he makes the guy miss, and it looks like there's a crease. But the rally by this defense of Vegas to keep him out of the end zone. And this has been the struggle for Orlando. They're worse than the league in scoring. It's in these areas where they haven't been able to finish drives. So 13th play of the drive. Flag on the play. Flowers to the pylon. Vegas is there. We'll check the penalty. Michael, 23 defense lined up in the neutral zone. 23. Offside, number 23. Deep zone, half the distance to the goal, still third down. Michael Vanderbilt, our official tonight. Second penalty on this drive from Maximilian Roberts. You see him lined up well over the ball, Joe. And this one could be a killer. They got to stop on this third down, and you're thinking Orlando now has to put in a decision to go for it on the fourth, kick a field goal, go for it. Now they get another shot at the end zone. Can you act in Lynch? Still on the sideline, Quentin Flowers in that fun formation. They're gonna try to push him across. And how's that? He's in! Come on! Come on! Touchdown, Orlando! Let's go! And Joey Galloway for a team trying to get some momentum to start their season. How's that for an opening drive of the game? 13 plays, 67 yards, six and a half minutes off the clock. The best thing they did is they kept the defense off balance. They ran the ball strong for some big runs, but they also did some play action pass. They made some quick throws. That way your defense can get settled in. And of course, the two penalties by Roberts helped them out. Again, here in the XFL, there are no kicking extra points. You can go for one from the two yard line, two from the five yard line, three from the 10 yard line. One for three on the season is Orlando on one point conversion. Flowers, the pitch, Martin, the reception, Martin, the pylon, and a quick 7-0 lead out of the visiting Guardians. Walk me through that drive. Uh, you know, Pat, you know, we got the ball first. You know, Pat locked in. You know, since I got here, I've just been telling them guys every day, you know, one play at a time. You know, I just go back to my college days. Uh, it was always one play at a time. We can't think ahead, and we can't think about what happened behind us, you know. Just one play at a time, and that's what I did. Matt, he's got the guys locked in. He sure does, and so does DeAndre Torrey, who we've seen make plays for Vegas on special teams. Had a kick return of 44 yards last week against D.C. That a gain of 42. And we bring out the quarterback for Everybody Las Vegas finally. tonight, Luis Perez. Getting the start. Everybody finally. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. We good? All right, here we go, boys. One, one. Baby, here we go. Hey, we're going eighth right. 25 zombie, y'all want ready? Here we go. 
Rod Smith in the backfield, a steady diet of him throughout the season. That's where they're open up on first down, Joe, in a game of six. Second week, Ray Sherman's been calling ball plays for Vegas. Second and four, Perez to throw to the outside, incomplete. Geronimo Allison, who did not play in last week's game when we were in D.C., off his fingertips, Martavis Bryant the former NFL player and active hey, tonight. Go, hey. hey, we're going, everybody here? Hey, we're going even left, 87 Rex. I want to read. Even left, 87 Rex, even left, 87 Rex. Yep. Third and four in Orlando okay, go. territory. Here we go, do it. 180, we're tight. Play clock down to one. Perez gets it off. Rod Smith out of the backfield, tries to make a man miss, and that is a good open field tackle by Terrence Plummer. Outstanding play by Plummer. Bump and run, man to man, free safety up high, drops this ball out. Now it's just between your running back and your linebacker. Who's going to be the better athlete? Who's going to make a play? And that is an outstanding play by Plummer, not just to get wide, but to tackle for a loss, setting up a fourth and five. Kara Sosa doing the punting duties again tonight for Vegas. Justin Rogers situated at his eight yard line. And that's a good punt. Trickles just about the six yard line. Four of their last five hey, we're good, we're opening good. drive Wait. scores for Wait. Orlando. Ball at the seven. Good job by Vegas' defense getting to Martin. Martrell Spate on the tackle. In for now for Vic Beasley. Bringing up a second down. Whatever issues Orlando had on that first drive communication, they need to just keep that going. That first drive, <laughs> they ran it eight times. They passed it five times. Did a nice job moving the ball and making it short distances to get first downs. They need to keep that going. Here we go. Ta-da! What is so Lynch rolls to his right, keeps his eyes downfield, takes a shot. He threw that, and about seven Vegas defenders were there. Falls incomplete. And you mentioned the communication issues, having to run of the ball plays. So Shane Matthews, former Florida great, calling some ball plays tonight. Remember Spurrier used to just run the quarterback in on every other play with the play call. Maybe Matthews will go that route. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm sure the players are hoping they don't have to go that route. It's very nice to be able to hear the offensive coordinator in your ear. As a receiver, you don't have to worry about going back to the huddle at times. Just listen to the coordinator. He'll tell you what the play is. 180! So third and 10 for Orlando. Lynch out of his own end zone. Pressure gets there. Maximilian Roberts sack. Down, yep. And they're spotting him, Joe, at the one-inch line. Well, the good thing is that we got Dean Blandino who will take a look at it and let us know if that's the correct spot. What you just saw there, CJ Avery coming off the edge. It looked really good. And then, of course, on the other side, Maximilian Roberts. Matt, I feel like you've said his name 100 times already tonight. The bend that he just hit on the left tackle, that's hard to do when you're six foot seven going against a six foot three guy. You got to get real low there. Ball for now, spotted at the one inch. And I believe Dean Blandino, our new chief officiate, is going to take a look. So I've got my hands on shot, tough to see the ball. Near hand held, no good. Far hand held, not on the line. Cards are best look. Okay, after review, the ruling on the field stands. We just don't have the look down the line. After review, the ruling on the field stands as called. It's fourth down. First time tonight, Dean Blandino, XFO VP of officiating. Dean, walk us through that decision. 
Yeah, so the, the officials ruled that the ball was in the field of play when progress was stopped. We were looking to see if any part of that ball was breaking the plane of the goal line. It's a safety. We just didn't have the look right down the line to be able to tell definitively, so the ruling on the field had to stand. Okay, we appreciate the look inside as Mac Brown out of his own end zone. Does a great job just to get that to the 50. That's Sexton trying to make the man miss. Sexton across midfield, flag on the play as Sexton trots that out to about the 40-yard line. Punt of 51 and a return of 12. Open it up, talk to me. And Joey, that exchange that we just had there with Dean and everything in between, that's the beauty. There's transparency to everything. And Dean's like, look, we didn't have the look, so call's got to stand. One of, one of the great parts of this league is you know Decision they're going no to get the call right. You know Dean is going to take a look at it. There is, there is no foul for blocking call. the back. It'll be first down. Okay, so the run stands to the 40. Tiffany? Hey, I'm here with Maximilian Roberts. You're just talking to me about leverage. How were you able to use your leverage to come up with the stop to help force him to punt? 67 is a tall defender. I'm a shorter edge player, so I just had to get under him. Got under him, and I got the sack. Catch your breath. Thank you. Thank you. Joey, did he take your Gucci headband? No, but that's, that's very nice. But <laughs> what he's saying is, and you can see, and he's jumped off sides twice tonight. And so when you watch film during the week and you see a guy and you feel like, I can beat this guy. Yeah. You're anxious. You're and he was anxious early yeah. in this game, and it finally timed it up right, Ready? and he got a big sack. We're chopping at the bit, was he? Perez here hands it off to Rod Smith up the middle. Tackled by Gerald Willis, gain of two. So we'll see a compliment of running backs tonight to Vegas. John Lovett, DeAndre Torrey. Right on the center. Yes, race, race. Here you go. Axe, axe, it What's up? Perez under center, fake to Smith. Boots to his left. Takes a shot over the middle of the field to Jeff Bedette. And a gain of three. All right, here we go. Let's go 11 personnel, 11. Eagle right. 61 hey, X drive. Check. Listen up. All right, we got Eagle tight right, mug, one hole. Tight check. mug, one hole. Tight mug, one hole. Hey, outside leverage, Mike. Outside leverage. Outside leverage, Mike. Hard outside. Hard outside. Hey, Dusty. Dusty. Here we go. Yeah, go up there. Here we go. Throw, throw, sit up. Not a badge of a four down territory situation, but Perez says enough with that. I'm taking a shot. What a catch. Bedette. Touchdown, Vegas. Let's go left hash, left hash. Right, 35 yard touchdown reception to Jeff Bedette. Seven catches, 80 yards a week. Go, Joey, he picked up right where he left off. Man to man coverage, bump and run. You want your best receiver to get loose. And you can see Bedette from the inside gets loose, gets behind the defensive back, and a great throw by Perez. 60 hammer, A hook. Over the ball, yep. 60, here we go. Here we go. Sit up. Hey, Sean. Here we go. Sit up. What did he Wait, hunt. For two in the lead, Perez. End zone. Caught. Two. How's that for an answer? Rod Smith. And the two-point conversion gives Vegas an 8-7 lead. Joey, that was big for Vegas to get back down the field. They had special teams, they had defense, now they have a touchdown. Huge score. defensive stop down on the goal line. Looked like it could have been a safety, but they mark it on the one. They get the ball in great field position, and then they just drive it down. Paxton Lynch making a great throw to Bedette. And you can see, when you're running a corner from the inside and you have man-to-man -man coverage, there's a safety high. There's no way he can get to the corner of the end zone, and Bedette does, makes a nice catch falling to the ground. Yeah, Perez, three of four. Yes, sir! You see Brett Humley there, started yes, a couple games from Vegas this year, but that was Perez just dropping one perfectly to Bedette and then finds Rod Smith there for two-point conversions. Tiffany? Guys, I'm with Luis Perez. You just talked to me about a little bump and run. Can you go through the timing on that play and the speed of Bedette? Yeah, Jeff's a great player. We saw man man across the board. You know, I uh, trusted Jeff to win, and he won. That's it. That's simple, huh? That's it. <laughs> thank you so much, Luis. Tiffany, thank you. Sometimes it is that easy, right? 
make the read, find your player, make the throw in an 8-7 game here in Vegas is Justin Wright. You know what, Joey, is that is that the unicorn of the XFL? Is that the first time we've seen one go to the back of the end zone this season? It might be. Empty backfield for Lynch. Quick slant to the left side, caught by Lenore. Cadillac bubble. Tw uh, twins right, Cadillac bubble. Twins right, Cadillac bubble. Here we go. How about that? Shane Matthews. First down for Orlando there. Good job by Jermaine Martin. A good effort on first down to get it to the 50. That's Dedrick Thomas. Check that in a gain of five. Just Shane Martin brought him down. Guys, we heard from Maximilian saying, I know I can beat this guy. Joey, you said he saw it on film all week. Three plays in a row. We've seen Maximilian just terrorize the left side of this line. Over here, over here, over here, over here. Can we determine whether or not we're on a max name basis with Maximilian Roberts? Hey, we're good, we're good. Yeah, I'm telling you, that's what happens in, in football. You literally watch the film and think, I got this guy. I think I can beat this guy. You're looking forward to getting your chance at him during the game. How about the quicks there by Devin Darrington and a gain of four going to bring up third and short. That's a good hustle here for Maximilian Roberts to get back and make that play. You know what, he started off with those two offside penalties because he's a little anxious, but since then he's played great. Hey, Corvette, 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 Corvette. There you go. Gabby, Gabby! Time. Third and two. Paxton going to keep it himself. He'll have enough for a first down. Now, I don't know if I'd qualify Paxton Lynch as a Corvette, but he did just enough to get the yardage in a first. Adam Sparks, the corner, sitting out wide. <laughs> he sees big Paxton Lynch coming at him. He's thinking, oh, man, this, this could be tough. Head down. You can see he wasn't exactly trying to hit Paxton Lynch. Here he goes, Lit. Flank left mojo, Liz stay. On one already. Here we go. Tonight! 180! Fake to Darrington. Pressure on Lynch, and they get to him. Peter Taumoa Penu with the sack. We talked about that offensive line for Orlando being their fifth group of starters in that off the line. They've been sacked more than any team in the XFL this season. You can see it. The tackles are struggling. If, if it wasn't one side, it was going to be the other. The tackles are struggling to protect these quarterbacks. Vic Beasley also kind of a menace on that play already. The second sack for Vegas as we approach 30 seconds here in the first quarter. Okay. Here goes. 180. Draw to Darrington. Nothing there. DJ Calhoun on the tackle after a gain of two. And in all likelihood, that'll take us to the end of the first quarter. Yeah. Here we go, here we go. You look at the right tackle. I bet you money, I bet you money, since we're in Vegas, I bet you a quarter that he's off the, that he's, he, is, he is not on the line of scrimmage. All right, so that's interesting that Rod was talking about that. And then there's a flag on the play. I understand he was talking about Orlando's defense, but Kevin Pinckney appears to be Baxter. offsides. For 90, defense, five-yard penalty. Still third down. Check that. On two, on two, on two. Jasheem Martin two. is who right, Vanderbilt right. on two, said on two, was right. the victim. Gotta be kidding me. Here we go. Tonight! the draw! So now third and seven. Was that early movement again? It was. Lynch going to take a shot. Just throws it upfield. It wasn't going to matter anyway because of the offside. So now, Joey, you're talking about two consecutive five-yard penalties. What was third offside, and long is not going to be 92. Defense, five-yard penalty. Still third down. When they jump off, these are the kind of mistakes that make it tough to win football games. This is, they just gave away 10 yards. They gave away 10 yards, and it was third and 12. That's what drives Coach Nuts. Just side the 35-yard line, that's Darrington up to the ball. I'll tell you what, he's got some quicks. 
Deontay Anderson met him at the line of scrimmage. This is going to be close, if not just short. It looks like it's going to be fourth and inches. You're right. Look at that jump cut. Gets outside. But at the same time, give Anderson a lot of credit. Getting right there at the line of scrimmage with the stop. Go, go. So Buckley going to go for it. God dang it. Ball false start, number 67, 65. Offense, five yard penalty, still fourth down. Jordan Eagle Fossey, and he's gonna do exactly what Vegas did a minute ago, give them favorable yardage now in fourth and inches. It'll be interesting to see what Terrell Buckley Correction, does. Correction, that, that foul is on number 65. Huddle, 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 huddle. Paxton Lynch wasn't under the center yet, and he fell out of this thing. Th those are the kind of penalties that are making it difficult for this Orlando offense to be able to score points. So backs it up, fourth and six, still gonna go for it is Orlando. Lynch, time, Lynch space, can he get it with his feet? Good open field tackle, Steven Roberts holds him short, and the Vegas defense, after the touchdown, they get a defensive stop, stop, perhaps a little bit of momentum here, Joe. And as good as Orlando was on that first drive, they've been that bad since since then, and that's what we talked about. They scored on the first drive four out of five times, and then after that, offensively, they have not been able to sustain a drive. Oh, the scramble drill right there by the wide receivers was super subpar. I mean, you've got your quarterback rolling to the right. Guys are just sitting down. They're not mirroring him. They're not moving with him. I thought that was really strange there. What can Vegas do now? Perez, that quarterback, Get love on. it in the backfield. Ready? What's up? They're going to give to Lovett. Lovett's going to try to find some space. First time we've called his name tonight in the game of three. Viper, Viper. Viper. No, out uh, of pistol. Pistol, yes. On the ball. This play is going to hit. Hey, go Roger Hard, 25. Roger Hard, 25. You got the inside, too. Here we go. Turbo, turbo, sit up. Play fake. Love it. Perez. Dumps it off to Love. It has space. Big gain for Vegas. Love it stays on his feet. He's a big play waiting to happen. That's exactly what we got. Brett Hundley on the sideline. You heard him say this play is going to hit, and it did for 27. It's a man to man coverage once again by Orlando. And you watch Love it come through the line of scrimmage. Man to man on a linebacker. You have either got to get to a quarterback or this coverage has to be tighter. That you can't allow Perez to stand in the pocket while a running back out of the backfield has time to work your middle linebacker like that. That was eight on eight. Terrence Smith, the linebacker, hey, hey. beaten coverage and missed the tackle. Hey, bus, bus, bus. Here we go. Turbo, turbo, sit up. Keep riding love it on this drive, and why not? But Orlando there right away after a gain of one. Terrence Smith, who just got beaten, missed the tackle on the prior play, makes the play there. Sixty, sixty, sixty. Sure, flat, snag. You got snag. You got flat. You got flat. Sixty. Here we go. Flat. Sixty flat. Here we go. Forty-four. You got these two. Here we go. You got him. Yep. Turbo, turbo, sit up. Play just gets off. Perez again out of the backfield to Love it. Can Love it get into the end zone here? Makes a man miss. Love it down at the two. And again a thirty-two. And you can hear Perez just tell Lovett, hey, here's what you got. <laughs> you got the flat. And when he ran the flat, no one's there. And Perez, having just told him where to go, has his eyes on him, wide open. Coverage bust on the back end by Orlando. Again, it's a man-to-man -man coverage. Not sure how you bust a man-to-man, -man, but they did. Matt Elam missed the tackle. Now Vegas in business, first and goal. This has been the Lovett drive. You gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Hey, come on, come on. Turbo, turbo, sit up. Rod Smith now in the backfield, wide open, touchdown, Vegas. Sean Price.
Joey, should I, what is? I did, I did, I did. Should I do it? Hey. What is that? Well, that's a viper. That's a viper, oh, head, Joey. Interesting. Smash, okay, 61. 61, uh, smash, uh, X brush. You get a point, you got a shallow. Bunch. 61. So Swing. Vegas gonna go for two. We have to convert it on the first one. Rod Smith in the backfield. Here we go. Here we go. Did it? What did he? What's up? Perez to the right. Incomplete. Intended for Geronimo Allison. Covered by Shaq Wiggins. So you see the kick zone where the ball has to go. Justin Rogers receives it. Players can move. Rogers trying to get it to his 30. It'll be close. Love it on the tackle who had a big play. Two big plays rather than that final drive. So now, look, Paxton Lynch and this offense had to get something going after kind of hitting the skids here after that first possession. How about the over under up to 48 and a half? Started at 42, couple touchdowns. And Vegas loves Vegas to 11 and a half. So Lynch here on first down. Vic Beasley bringing pressure. Can they get to him? Falls incomplete, intended for Lance Lenore. Tiffany? Guys, I'm with John Lovett, and you basically, it was all you on the drive to help lead your team to score. What was like the communication between you and Luis Perez on that drive? Uh, the old line did a hell of a job with a pass pro. Picked up the blitz. Backer had me one-on-one. -on -one. Got to make the play where you need to make the play, so that's what happened. I know you're out of breath, but could you feel the spark you gave this team? Yeah, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. We just got to keep it going, sack these players, and let's go ahead and win this game. Thank you. Tiffany, thank you. You have to love it. Sorry. Darrington off the left side. I'm so used to your bad jokes. You really? <laughs> you, I can't even get a reaction I, out I'm, of you I'm used to your bad jokes. I know. There's a gain of three. Let the XFL crowd get some of it. 16 weeks together with college football. By the way, we're talking about the Shane Matthews stories. Y'all calling ball plays tonight. There's nothing better than a former Florida quarterback telling stories about their head coach. Because we sit with Palmer when he's with us in studio. Those guys have so many stories about what it was like playing quarterback for the old ball coach. Can he dial one up here on third down? Lynch over the middle of the field. It looked like Jalen Smith mistimed his jump. Ball was there. Yeah, he tried to squeeze that one into a tight window through the middle of the field. I, I don't know if he catches this ball, if it's not going to be a big hit by this safety. But man, that is really good coverage on the back end. And that is a tight, tight window to try to squeeze the ball into. Good job, OL. Hey, good pro, guys. Good pro. Mac Brown punting to Matthew Sexton. You heard Paxton Lynch there credit that offensive line. So many changes this season. This Sexton's going to bring it to the 35-yard line. A punt of 46, return of 14. We got TV timeout? We got TV or no? Perez, six straight completion. Six of seven, 97, two touchdowns early on in this one. Hey, I'm looking out to look for you. Here we go. Give me the Yep. What did he? What's up? The running back roulette wheel lands on DeAndre Torrey for this possession in Orlando right there. What about Terrence Smith in a TFL for the Guardians? Loss of two. This Orlando defense needs a spark right now. Smith making a great tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Now they have to find a way on these passing downs. They're playing man-to-man, -man, bump and run coverage. That's what Terrell Buckley used to play when he played football. He's a bump and run guy. Their defensive backs have to stand up if the defense is going to get them back in this game. Joey, Caesar's sportsbook go. has just moved the live line open. to 13 and a half. I think every time Vegas gets the ball, it goes up a couple points. Doug Kazarian, sports betting analyst, will join us at halftime. Look at DeAndre Torrey. You mentioned when Vegas has the ball. Torrey, big game, first down. 26 yards. 
Najim Hossein on the tackle. And this is great blocking up front, and I'm sure Eric McClain can add to what that offensive line just oh, did right there. Man, it was beautiful to see these guys, the way that they're just moving guys out of the way. You see offensive linemen running downfield, getting their hands on blocks. That's a thing of beauty, Joey. Donovan West, the center, the key block there, got his first start last week. Throw, throw, sit up. It's back to Rod Smith. It's back to the ground. Smith makes a man miss. Turns something out of nothing. Terrence Smith with the missed tackle and a gain of five. All right, you, you want trio? Okay, here we go. Let's go trio right. Here we go on field stack starfire zone. 11, 11, 11, my fault. 11, 11, field field stack right. starfire zone. Uh, starfire zone. Field stack right. starfire right. zone. Field stack starfire zone. Hey, Gene. You go, you go, you go, you go, you go, you go. Tell CJ and say you go. You go. So second and five. Smith again. Rod Smith won't go down. That's going to be another first down. You saw big 77. Quintarius Eatman kind of lead the way. Push his man forward for a gain of nine and a first down. And right now, Vegas is just too physical up front for this Orlando defense. Stansley Maponga missed an initial shot to make the tackle. And you talked about the momentum that Vegas has here in Orlando needing to stop. 51. All right, here we go. Turbo, turbo, here we go. Turbo, turbo, sit up. Torrey in the backfield. Perez to throw. Perez over the middle. That's Torrey with the catch. He can make a man miss. DeAndre Torrey been active on this drive and a gain of eight. Tackled by Ty Smith. These running backs catching the back, catching the ball to the backfield is killing this Orlando defense. They're gonna have to figure out a way. I don't know if it's maybe go zone at some point in time, but right now they have trouble covering these running backs so out the backfield. Is someone 26, missing 26, the assignment? Right. Hey, like it's me. tough as a hey, linebacker. You're standing CQ. flat foot as that running back's CQ. coming at you. It's a tough assignment 26. in the first place. 26, here we go. Here we go. Turbo, turbo, sit up. Second and one, play fake to Torrey. No. Shot to the outside. Sinku Sweeting, perhaps a little bit of miscommunication there. Smith on the coverage. So third and one. Already the hey. seventh play of this 24 drive. Zombie, 24 zombie, here we go, gotta go. Ace right, 24 zombie, ace right. Get over here, get over here. 24. Pistol, pistol, pistol. Here we go. Turbo, turbo, sit up. Torrey. Good defense by Orlando there. Trayvon Sanders and a loss of one. Field goal, field goal, field goal, field goal, field goal. Joey, what do you think of that field goal there by Rod Woods and Ray Sherman? Perez definitely was not happy about this, but I think defensively they settled in now. Uh, after that first drive, they're playing good defense. So I don't mind kicking a field goal here, getting more points because your defense is playing so well. So 38-yard attempt for Bailey Giffen. Right down the middle. I'm here with offensive coordinator Ray Sherman. You just opted to go for the field goal on fourth and two. Can you take me through that decision? Well, one thing I learned, uh, you can take the points. You know, I don't care if you're at home on the road. When you got a situation like that, you always take the points. Your backs have had some success catching passes out of the backfield. What's the defense showing you? Well, what, what happens is they're really getting deep uh, in their drops. And so what we do is we put our, our backs are an outlet for the quarterback so he knows those guys are available to him if they need him. Thanks, Coach. Now I'll send it over to Eric McLean. Okay. Coach Buck, your defense right there seems like they're so close to making a big play. What are you seeing from them? Yes, this is being on break. They're giving us a chance to stay in this game. Offense, we got to go out and drive this down and score. Appreciate you, Coach. Thank you. Orlando on their first drive, 67 yards total offense. Last three drives, 20 combined yards as Vegas now with 17 points the most they've had in a first half this season. So a new quarterback for Orlando. First and 10 good shot Lance Lenore. So a 
gain of seven. So Quentin Dormady now at quarterback. You see Paxton Lynch there on the sideline. I guess it doesn't matter, but. False start, number 64. Offense, five yard penalty, still second down. X and Z stop. X and Z stop, ace right. Be ready to check it down to your back. So Quentin Dormady was the quarterback that was investigated of allegations of impropriety. The investigation concluded that they were unsubstantiated reports. And so Dormady has been reinstated by the team. He is in the lineup tonight, third down now after a gain of six. Guys, an interesting piece about that, Matt, you just bring that up. The biggest piece that Coach Buck said, how do my players feel about it? How do the guys in the locker room? Every single guy didn't think that it was something of nature that you just said right there, welcomed him back with open arms. Now he's on the field here, third and two, Lynch yanked, Dormady, hey, that's a good throw on third down to move the chains for Eli Rogers. Orlando needed to get a first down. They need a spark on this offensive side, and this is just a simple throw outside. Keeps it low so the defender can't get to it. Get down low, Rogers makes a catch, moves the chains. They need some momentum on the offensive side because they've struggled since that first drive. So first and 10 for Dormady. Dormady again finds the sideline to Cody Latimer. And all of a sudden, Dormady, the second Quinton quarterback on this team. Quinton Flowers saw him early. He's the runner. Dormady now moving the chains and another first down for Orlando. And I'll say the offensive line for Orlando has done a nicer job of protecting their quarterback in this drive in particular. He's had ch a chance to stand in the pocket and look downfield and throw the ball. So we've already seen three quarterbacks tonight for Orlando. First and 10, down 17-7. They give up the middle to Jermaine Martin. What does that do, Joe, when you're able to loosen up the defense with a couple of passes to the outside? Our thanks to those fans that made the trip out here to Cashman Field. Good crowd on hand tonight. Hoping Vegas gets their first win. Dormady in at quarterback. Tell you what, Dormady's thrown it well, but good coverage there intended for Thomas. Check that for Lenore, Adam Sparks. There on coverage, Deontay Anderson closed it down, now third and five. Really good coverage by Sparks on the back end here. This is just a bump and run, man to man go. Sparks doesn't let the receiver get on top of him, doesn't have anywhere to go, pins him to the sideline, it's great coverage. That's the first incompletion for Dormady after replacing Paxton Lynch. Again, we've also seen Quentin Flowers in the game. Third down, quick shot outside. Dormady kind of throws it behind his receiver. That leads him off a little bit of momentum, and Cody Latimer is going to be short of the first down. The miss routes, right? So fourth and two. Go, go, go. Both teams, all three timeouts. Take it out the one. Come on. So Terrell Buckley in Orlando. 30 seconds in first timeout. Four run it. I don't care. Fourth and two. Dedrick Thomas outside. Dormady in the backfield by himself. Over the middle, it is caught in a first down for Orlando. Logan Carter on the catch and a gain of nine. And I'll tell you what, Quentin Dormady's come right in and let him right down. And has field. looked comfortable. He has looked very comfortable when he's coming to this game on this drive. And again, I'm going to give the offensive line some credit. 
they were giving Dormady a chance to stand in the pocket and throw the ball down the and field. Dormady's going to do it again as we say that. Keeps his eyes downfield, and it's incomplete intended for Eli Rogers. So a good job there by Dormady climbing the pocket. Pressure by Bryant Jones. Missed the tackle, and it falls incomplete. Yeah, and Eric McLean mentioned earlier about the receivers not doing a good job on the scramble drill. That time, Eli Rogers does a nice job coming to the sideline, which was the way Dormady was going as a receiver. You want to work to the sideline that your quarterback is on. Dormley just a little bit behind. So second and ten under a minute here in the first half. Two timeouts for Orlando. All three for Vegas. Dormady plants that back foot. Takes a shot at the end zone. There is all kind of coverage. It's going to be a touchdown for Charleston Result Rambo. Result of the play is a touchdown. Result of the play is a touchdown. Defensive pass in the series, black six. Charleston six Rambo, highly tatted with crew, started his career at Oklahoma, Pass transferred to Miami. Number six, defense, that penalty is declined. Touchdown. 25 yards. We weren't surprised it was going to be passing interference. And that's a great play by Rambo, a great drive by Dormady. And a great drive by the offensive line. They, they have really stepped up, especially on that drive. Uh, they've been sacked more than any other team in the XFL. They did a nice job here. So now the third quarterback we've seen, Quentin Flowers, he got some run on the first possession of the game. They're going to go for one point. They got the first one point attempt. Flowers out of the shotgun. Looks like an option look, and Vegas was all over it. Led by Martrell Spate. So, Joey, a touchdown for Orlando. You mentioned how comfortable Quentin Dormady looked. He comes in, and now we've got ourselves a ball game. Yeah, made a number of plays on this drive. This may be his best throw. Back shoulder to Rambo's. Rambo 6-2. Defensive back can't get around him. Nice job of playing the body game. Just go up, make the play, get in the end zone. Ten plays, 71 yards for the touchdown. Eric? So you're known as a speed guy. You use your possession. Use your big body right there. Walk me through that touchdown. You know, just great play, call, great throw by 12, great catch, you know, so we executed it good, throw it to the good guy, <laughs> make a play on the ball, that's it. How is the offense adjusting? Three different quarterbacks have played so far. You know, we ball players, so we just, whoever get in, we just get in the mix, blend it, go up. That's all you know. I appreciate you, man. All Matt? Right. Thank you. Dormady, 7 of 9, 71 yards right out of the gate as Borgales is going to kick it to DeAndre Torrey at his own 10. Torrey across the 20 to the 26. What was the reaction to Terrell Buckley? Have a look. Fast in the field! Touchdown! One, 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 one. Five. He, he ain't made no freaking tough catch yet. And then he's just dogging. You heard him talking about Charleston Rambo. So Vegas, all three timeouts, 44 second left. The point total closed at 42. It's at 30 right now, so you have to love it. Again, three of these teams, four games, each of them has hit the over and a flag on the play. Prior to the illegal substitution, okay. That's a good play call. Prior to the illegal substitution, Orlando has called their second charge timeout, 30 seconds in length. Okay, so they avoid the penalty there. 17-13 Vegas. Both of these teams looking. Hey, back, back up, back up, back up, back up. That was a good look at the first win of the season. So three timeouts remaining, and, and, and Joey, look, 44 seconds left in this half. Vegas with an opportunity with all three timeouts. Perez and his offense is running at a high level. Yeah, and Coach Buckley mentioned that they're still in this game, and they go down to get a big touchdown. Now can Vegas answer? And that's the difference between winning and losing football games. And these swings of emotion in a football yeah. game, can you get back on the field and answer when your team feels like the momentum has shifted to the other side? I'll tell you, I've been impressed with both of these teams tonight. Orlando needed some sort of a spark, and they got it from Dormady. So Perez on the draw, and that's going to be a tackle there after a gain of three. And I don't know that Woodson's going to. There he goes. He takes one now. 
So per Perez yeah. in the first half, seven of nine, 170 yards. Joey, he's played well, seven of nine, 107 and two touchdowns. And we've seen this Vegas team play well in first halves of games all season long. I think last week might have been the first time they've gone to the locker room down at halftime, but they've done well in the first half. It's can they go in the locker room and come back out in the second half and play at the same level? It, it, right up, 787 flag. Hey, read it, Jeff. I need to play. Flag. That, that don't tell me I'm sorry. 61. Throw right up. 61. Flag. What you want me on? Flag. Double duel. Here we go. Here we go. Sit down. 180. Wait, huh? Second and six. Flag on the play. Perez checked down to the flat, went back downfield. Sink Q Sweeting, the intended receiver. Offside, number 36, defense, five yard penalty. So get down. So Sweeting, a big night a week ago, zero catches here in the first Let's go, half. Bogey! Hey, Eagle left, Eagle left, left. Uh, just stay, just stay, just stay. Hey, 61, 61. Or double duel, 60. Over here, over here. Double duel, you got a flat, you got a flat. Here you go. Turbo, turbo, sit up. Second and one. Over the middle, caught. We just mentioned Sweeting's name. Go. That's gonna be enough for a first down. Terrence Smith brings him down. Clock at 20 seconds. Vegas is gonna use we its time second timeout. Hey, 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 let's go trips left, let's go Y fly to trip, uh, I'm sorry, Y fly to trail, let's go Superman actually, Y fly to Superman left, mm -hmm. 760, Z dagger X bench. Y fly to, they, yes, hey X bench, Cam, Cam, come here, huddle, huddle. Superman, okay? 50 in, and you gotta check slow. Go to the right. Superman right. I'm gonna fly you over to the left, you're gonna run a seam. You got the dagger over there on the left. 760, 760. I'm flying you, I'm flying you. You're over there, you're over here, you're over here, you're over here. Shift the end, and then go on the flat. Or, uh, over here, 60. You look like quarterbacks make so much money. Here we go, here we go. They have to know. I mean. Not only know what everyone's done, but have to tell every player what they have to do. Go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Gotta go, go fast, go fast. Turbo, turbo, sit up. And Joey, he must have seen something because Perez called this ball play. Let's see what comes of it. No. Floats it over the middle of the field. It is incomplete, intended for Allison. And you heard him go over to the sideline, the offensive coordinator, Ray Sherman. He said, hey, let's run this. He saw something, didn't come to fruition, falls incomplete, now second down. Yeah, and Allison had the, had the dagger route, which is uh, an 18-yard in. And you can see they're a little bit off in their communication. Yeah. Here we go. Let's go. Even let's go. Steamer. 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 Let's go. Hey, hey, Viper, Viper. Gotta go, gotta go. Hey, TQ, TQ. Turbo, turbo, sit up. Play gets off. Perez caught. Jeff Bedette, quick timeout. Clock stops at eight seconds. Shaquille Wiggins on the tackle after a gain of 13. Hey, you want to go field goal? Yeah. All right. Hey, yeah. Hey, look for my signal, okay? Turn right. Oh, we're about to come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Hey, I got you, Jay Love. Come on. Hey. Okay, we only have eight seconds, so the ball goes in balance. So he's dead. Yeah, no. Uh, uh, yeah, I know. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Here we go. Oscar. Hey, 60. Hey, double Hey, TQ, look, look. 60, got over the ball. Flat. You want that? No, no, no. Quick, quick pass. No. Here we go. Yes, here we go. Here we go. Hey, right here. 
Go, Jimo. Here we go. Here we go. Turbo, turbo, sit up. So Perez talked about the quick pass because they go, have go, to get go, out go, of go, bounds go, go, go. with no timeouts, but that does just that. Trying to get Giffen a couple more yards for the field goal attempt to send him to the half up 20 to 13. Good execution there by Perez. Yeah, you can tell Perez, his knowledge of this playbook and the, the situation, he's almost a coach on the field. So Giffen on for a 56-yard attempt. College career long of 54. Kick on the way. Giffen. No good. Had the leg. He oh, did. He got into that one. So a second half so important for both of these teams trying to get their first win of the season. You saw those standings in the to south. Play. The Brahmas at one and three are still in this thing. As you see, Sin Q Sweeting and a shot of energy for Vegas to start. There is a lot of football left to be played. And you're not out of it just yet as we kick off the second half with Vegas getting the ball to start. That's the second big return we've seen out of Vegas. Getting that kickoff return close to the 50 yard line. Your offense comes on, Perez is playing well. Can you get this offense going with a short field to work with? Yeah. No, you're over there, you're over there. You got to go around. H stay. No, you good? There you go. Turbo, turbo, sit up. Ball at the 47. Perez, fake, boots to his left. And Joey did a good job of reading the coverage. No one opened downfield, got something out of nothing, gain of four, brought down by Gerald Willis. Yeah, really good coverage on the back end by the Orlando secondary. You're right, there was nothing open downfield. I only sounded a couple guys into the route, and Orlando does a nice job of not giving Perez anywhere to go. 22, 22, go left, we off. 22, 22, 22, yep. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. Turbo, turbo, sit up. That's Rod Smith for the first time this half. He does a nice job to bowl his way up for a game of four, and it's going to bring up a third and short. Right hash. Hey, oh, here we go. we're going That's diamond cool. one hole, diamond one hole, diamond one hole. 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, here we go. Trips left. Diamond one hole, diamond one hole, diamond one hole. check. Trips left, 60 crush check. 60, 60 check. Hey, match up, match up, CJ. Here we go, here we go. Stay on your man. Hey. Here we go, here we go. Outside leverage, shoot three. Turbo, turbo, sit up. So third and two, first possession for Vegas. Perez gonna take a shot. Flag on the play. Intended for Sweeting, and Wiggins is on the coverage. Pass interference, number 21. Defense, that ball be placed at the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. And Wiggins was in a good position coverage-wise. He just reached out his hands when the receiver looked back. But if he had just stayed concentrated on the receiver, he tried to take a peek back at the quarterback, stay in coverage, he was in pretty good position. In all 20 yards after the spot of foul. 27B, yeah, 27B. 27B. Here we go, here we go. Good Wait, Hunt. Smith up the middle. Gain of four. And Joey, I get the sense with both of these teams and how they've been unable to finish to this point of the season. We're going to get to see the third and fourth quarter, second half of who they are with an opportunity to get that win. Yeah, and the problem for Orlando is you know, they're the lowest scoring offense in the XFL. They've been penalized more than any other team in the XFL, and they've given up more sacks than, than any team in the XFL. When you do that, you have to be exceptional in other areas if you're going to be successful. They haven't been able to do that, but they have to limit the mistakes and somehow create some turnovers. They've only created two on the season. That's not enough. Second and seven. What a run by Rod Smith. Able to hurdle a player, flag on the play. Got a block in the back, 14 offense. Block offense the back. number 14. Good from the spot there. 
I'm gonna move it up just a little bit. Okay, from the spot of the foul, be third down or replay second down, 14. Illegal block in the back, number 14. Offense, 10 yard penalty. Second down. So, Joey, we've already seen a spot foul for Orlando on third down for 20, and now we've seen Sing Q Sweden and Vegas commit a penalty, and this is what we're talking about with both of these teams in timely miscues. Yeah, and that's a receiver just trying to get a piece of a defensive back out wide. At that point, let your H running cross. back do the work. He can handle it. H cross. Tell him yes. CQ, H, H, H cross. Here we go. 61, 61, check. Hey, you got, you got, the, you got this. A shallow, a shallow, a shallow. Here we go. Yes, a shallow. Yeah, here we go. Turbo, turbo, turbo. So second and 14. Perez, clean pocket over the middle, caught. Brandon Dillon lowers his shoulder, trying to muscle his way forward. And Dillon, what an effort. C.J. Holmes, Shaquille Wiggins, and a host of others. Terrence Smith. Tried to slow him up after 13. And you can hear Perez telling they got the eight shallow. So that is a concept, not just a route, but a concept. So if you have a shallow coming, the other guys on the other side have to clear out the defense. And they just have to know what goes along with a shallow. There's not always a part of the play that tells you what it is. Dang it! Come on, fellas! Important to point out. Nah, then, that's freaking 15 yards. God dang it! Come on, man. You hey, saw Dylan's knee hit, but it is the college rule down by contact as Rod Smith is going to get a first down and goal to go. You saw the knee hit. He got back up. Players took him down. Another flag on the play late after Smith had enough for the first. Hey, no, it's on there. It's on there. Hey, go, go. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness, number 36. Defense, half the distance to the goal. First down. So, Joey, we've seen a pass interference for 20 yards. Go, go! Go, oh, my, just run! We've seen the third and 14, or the second and 14, rather, the big yardage there. And then we've already seen another personal foul. Yeah, and that's their fifth penalty. And I've already mentioned they're the most penalized team in the XFL, averaging nine and a half penalties a game. And they're on Ready? route to get there. Perez, end zone. Incomplete. Intended for Cam Sutton. Balin Buchanan on the coverage, second and goal. This is a pretty good throw by Perez right off of Sutton's fingertips and pretty good coverage on the back end. A lot of times, a good throw beats good coverage, and Perez put that one on the money. Mention the throw, Joe. Sutton, 6'7", 255 pounds out of Fresno State. Suttonberg put hey, that 6'7", another hand, hand, hand out there. Hand two hand hands and grabbed that ball. Trying to catch that like T.O. instead of <laughs> Tony Gonzalez in a timeout Vegas. So second half. We're okay, we're okay. I got some anti-fog stuff for you. Water, anybody? Hey, we're good. Hey, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Tag a slant backside. 25 lock or just 25? Okay. Uh, 11, 11. 25, 25, okay. Hey. Huh? Okay. Yes, yes. Here we go. Gotta go, gotta go. Yeah, 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 we're good. He's coming, he's coming. Watch him, B. 25, here we go. Here we go. Turbo, turbo, sit up. Rod Smith. Hey. Again, again, again. Hey, let's go, let's go. No, no, on the ball. Same thing. Gotta go, gotta go. Same play, same play. Let's go. Hey, same thing. 25, let's go, 25. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Here we go. 
TQ. Throw, throw, throw. Yes. You heard the whole play call. <laughs> yeah, the same thing. Let's do the same thing. Sometimes you're just better than the other side. It doesn't matter if they know what's coming. What a drive by Vegas to start the second half. Nine plays, 53 yards, 507 off the clock. And it was miscues for Orlando, Joe. The penalties are, are killing this team. Uh, but again, it's still early in the second half. No They're down 10. Uh, the conversion will change that. But Orlando has to find a way to get something going on the offensive side and, and move the football. They did with Dormady, so we'll see if he can continue to provide a spark. Two-point conversion attempt throw, here throw, for throw. Vegas. Not much Perez could do. Pressured on the play by KB on Patton. How do you do it? Be the best he can be. Understood. 23-13 here. Giffen to kick to Justin Rogers. Situated at his nine. Rogers. Not much going there, Tiffany. Matt, you just said it, be the best that you can be. Sometimes it's that simple. Well, Coach Woodson just leaned into me after that uh, little combo. He said it was really cheesy. I just wanted to let you guys know that. You know what? He's a friend. He's a friend of this. If he likes cheesy, he'll fit in well up here. <laughs> Your dad jokes have been uh, pretty good tonight. Thank you, You're Tiffany. Welcome. I appreciate that. Did you hear that, Joey? Someone I did not hear that. Someone appreciates. I didn't my have joke. my head. My headset was not working. <laughs> That's ironic. So Quentin Dormady, he gave him a little spark at the end of the second half. He gets the start. Second quarter, rather, gets the start here in the second half. Starting tonight, do not have one on Dormady. It's not that we are ignoring the Guardians' offense. It's got kind of the microphone decision. Logan Carter is going to be a first down. You see Paxton Lynch there listening into the play call speed, after a game of eight. Speed. Twins right, twins right, kick left, alert, ace right, fetch. So Dormady continues to beat. Just a spark. Went to Central Michigan, started his career at Tennessee. First and 10 for Martin, and Jermaine Martin does a nice job lowering his shoulder. The gain of seven. Can double mug tough, double B1 pill. Back, he's swinging left. Jalen, you got a flat. Jalen, you got a flat. So second and three, Shane Matthews calling the ball plays tonight for Orlando. Dormady, quick shot over the middle of the field, Joey. That was a quick read, found Latimer right out of the gate, and that's gonna be a gain of seven in the first down. Yeah, I think Latimer even expected the ball to come even a little quicker than it did, but nice throw by Dormady getting the first down. I mentioned Dormady was investigated accusations of sharing plays. There was nothing found in the investigation. He was reinstated back out of the roster. From what we were told, the team welcomed him in, as Eric reported earlier. That intended for Lenore and complete Adam Sparks was on the coverage. Pretty good cover coverage by Adam Sparks. We've seen him a number of times in this game. Have pretty good coverage out wide. And that time, again, pinning the receiver to the sideline, just not giving him anywhere to go and nowhere to throw the ball. Jermaine Martin went over to the sidelines. Looked to be a little bit banged up, so Devin Darrington in, flag on the play. Dormady said, you heard him say, free ball, make a play. And boy, did Logan Carter do just that. Logan Carter, big tight end, 6'3", 246, right Offside, in the hole in the corner. Number 23, route. defense, penalties decline. It was all the play. First down. That's Maximilian Brett, uh, Maximilian Roberts again. We, look. We knew he was getting jumpy up there because he thought he could beat his man. That's again a, a procedure call on him, but what a catch. He's been kind of quiet after that beginning of the game when he got to the quarterback a, a, a few times. I don't know if there's been a change in what Orlando was doing with their offensive line. Maybe uh, their protections are different, but they've done a really good job since the beginning of the game protecting the quarterback. Darrington in the backfield. Darrington a cut. I keep saying he's got some quicks. He makes those quick cuts right at the line of scrimmage. That one good for a gain of seven. 
I think this is part of helping your offensive line in the protection. You know, when, when you can also run the ball, it slows down those defensive ends from pinning their ears back and coming after your quarterback. You have to deal with the run also. And if you can find success running the ball in those early downs, it just slows down that pass rush. Eighth play of the drive. Darrington out of Virginia has been spelling Jermaine Martin. He went to the sideline. In Orlando, an impressive drive trying to match Vegas. Dormady out of the backfield. Low throw, good catch, Jalen Smith. And that'll be a first down Orlando. It's a really good catch by the big fella coming, coming across the formation to reach down and snatch this ball and stay on his feet and get a couple more yards. It's pretty, pretty impressive for a big guy like that. To see the current drive, and we had talked about kind of the energy, the quarterback switch. We've seen three of them tonight for Orlando. Averaging just over 12 points a game at 13 for now. Dormady wheel route out of the backfield. That's a good catch and a big gain by Dedrick Thomas. Gain of 18. Eric, what is the difference in, in this offensive line? It, they seem like, uh, especially since Dormady has come in the game, the protection has been so much better. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Joey. His anticipation throwing the football has been so much faster, which helps a struggling offensive line. But I'll tell you this. Everybody loves quarterback, too. Receivers, tight ends, offensive line. Everyone's game has elevated since he's gone in. Look at the comparison between he and Paxton Lynch. You got the start 12 of 1,523 and a touchdown as Martin comes back in here, second and goal. Dangerous to be pulling guys down here because this is a shoot. Second and goal. Martin up the middle. What an answer by the Guardians. Touchdown, Orlando. Joey, what would you go for here? 23-19. There is so much time left in this game. I would go with my best play. I wouldn't I wouldn't be concerned with going for three. Or I, I would just stay Call. with my game plan. Okay. Call a play. So they're going for two-point conversion. You mentioned so much time left in the game. This would make it 23-21. Put in a field goal to give them a lead later on if they're looking that way. But they'll go for two. Last time they tried this, they brought in Quentin Flowers, but Dormady stays. Rolls to his right. Incomplete. Intended for Latimer. Was that their best play? Well, it didn't look like their best play. <laughs> <laughs> What's been the biggest difference? Just trying to get the ball to the playmakers, go through my reads. Um, you know, I've, I've missed a few weeks, so I'm just trying to get back into the swing, the swing of things and make sure I'm communicating with the guys so that we're on the same page. Even with missing those few weeks, it seems like you have gone in and things are seamless. How's that possible? Oh, just staying in it. It's, it's the same as, as before. Um, and guys are making plays. That's the biggest thing. Uh, makes my job really easy. Appreciate you. Yep. Oh, McLean didn't say brother. <laughs> you let us down. <laughs> Uh, over under on that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We had, one, we had $5 riding on you saying brother and you my let man, us down. My man, my man. <laughs> In the spirit of Vegas, we're betting everything. We are betting. There is a bet that's off the table up here in our booth. Uh, DeAndre Toy on the kick you. return. Uh, speaking of live lines, Vegas now six and a half. Point total jumped to 56 and a hook, Joe. What do you got on that? Now the over under is starting to get out of my comfortability range. <laughs> I don't know if I like the 65 and a half. I mean 56 and a half. That's Sorry. a dollar. Yeah. See, go, I wouldn't go. bet 65 and a half either. Here Love it in the backfield. Two Here tight ends set. What do you need? Wait, hunt. Ball at the 28. That's Love it. And that's Love it up the middle. That's a good chunk on first down. Going to be enough for another first down. Terrence Plummer, gain of 11. Lovett has been a spark in terms of big play. He had the two big receptions out of the backfield, and then you see him get 11 there. And Vegas' last drive was seven runs and, and two passes. So they're, they're feeling this run game right now and thinking they see something in this Orlando offense that they can run the ball on them. Orlando defense. Thank you. Go six and go over the ball. Choice. Here we go. Here we go. You good? Turbo, turbo, sit up. Fake to love it. Perez to the right. Good shot, good throw. Geronimo Allison. 
And a gain of 11. Two plays, two 11-yard gains, Joe. Two first downs. Perez so comfortable in the pocket. Nice stop route by Love Out Wide, and he just drops it into him. And that's a nice, easy play. Get you a first down, and you get reset again. And I would be very surprised if they don't get back to the run game, which has been so hey, good to him in the bus, second half. Bus, bus, Here we go. Bus, here we go. Turbo, turbo, sit up. Fake. Perez over the middle, Allison again. Allison, what a move that was after the initial catch on the slant. Planted his foot, cut right, Joe Gain at 21. And great play call. The, the play action pass brings the defenders up, brings these linebackers up, and then throws the nice easy slant on the back end. Geronimo Allison has been quiet this year, played in Green Bay, 89 receptions, 1,045 yards, and six touch down between 2016 and 19. 24 lock, here we go. Yep. Turbo, turbo, sit up. No more Davis Bryant tonight. There is love it. He continues to run hard. Here we go, trips left. Okay. And we got trips stack, left, stack, stack six rats, stack six rats, stack six rats. 25 lock, 25 lock. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. Third to pick! Here we go. Turbo, turbo, turbo. Perez pulled it off his hip. Play fake to Sweetie. Close, you're close, you're close. Gain of 14. That's what this drive has been all about. 10 plus yards plays. Four of them already. 24, 24. 24. 24. 24. Here we go. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go! Turbo, turbo, set up! Now first and goal, Perez quickly and it's dropped. But that can't hang on. And they had something there, and I think Perez, is, you could hear him saying, we gotta go, we gotta go, because he liked the look of the defense. It wasn't because the Here play clock was right down. Play. He had plenty of time. He just liked what he saw in the defense and thought he had a play. Put you on Pierce. 51, 51, 51. Three all right, 51 Pierce. You got a flat, a flat. You gotta go, you gotta go. Right here, 51, you got a point. Here we go, solid. Turbo, turbo, sit up. Perez hangs on, Perez gets it out. And Travis Koontz knocked out of bounds, making it third and goal. Ty Smith after a gain of five. Flat. 61. Bench. Trip right. 61. Falcon. We gotta, you gotta uh, over the ball. 61. 61. Gotta go. Oh, get it. Oh, good. Come on. What? Hey. Illegal substitution. 12 in formation. Offense. Five yard penalty. Third down. Hey. All right, here we go. What you say, trio right? Here we go, trio right, 61, a shallow. Trio right, 61, a shallow. Oh. 61, 61, trio check. right. 61, check. 61, a shallow. Gotta go. Play clock under 10. Oh, we gotta go. Here we go, you got here, here we go. Turbo, turbo, sit up. Play gets off, Perez. Throws the crossing route, another penalty on the play. That connected to Cam Sutton, Terrence Plummer on the coverage. Both teams with five penalties on the night. Sure, we didn't need that. 56, we're attacking on half the distance. Personal, Personal foul, roughing the passer, number 56. Defense, half the distance to the goal, automatic first down. Stanley Maponga and, and Joey, what you're seeing what teams that are struggling to win do when they can't afford to do it. Yeah, th these penalties, that late shove on a quarterback, and they haven't been able to get to Perez, and I, and I know that's frustrating for a defensive line, but you have to hold up in that the situation. Passer? The ball is out. Was that a broken passer? I mean, somebody. 
Somebody. No. It was it? Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. I want to challenge the 56 rough in the passer. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Challenge, the rough in the passer by 56. 56. Hey. Like the yes. He's challenging, but it was not rough in the passer, correct. Listen up, listen up, listen up. Sky, I'll go to Sky Camp second. Well, y'all got the camera, yeah. Okay, I'm looking at it, Mike. I'm on the all 22. Ball's gone. One, two, and then forcible contact. I'm going to go to Sky Cam. One, two, boom. Anything else other than Sky Cam and all 22? Near handheld. Goes away from it. Those are our two best shots. Looking at my left 25. It's late. All right, Mike, after further review, ruling on the field stands. It was late, rough in the passer, yes. After review, the ruling on the field of roughing the passer stands. Orlando is charged with a timeout and will have no remaining challenges for the remainder of the game. It's first and goal. Oh my gosh, man. Oh, freaking shit, man. Shit, freaking terrible, man. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. Wait, wait, hunt. So Rob stop, stop, Smith stop, stop. stopped short. 20 seconds left here in the third quarter. Vegas content to let the clock go to zeros. And Joey, we embark on a fourth quarter where someone's gonna get their first win of the season. And it's a four point game. Both teams still in this. If they can just eliminate the mistakes. Field position here for Vegas to start the fourth quarter. Second and goal. Rod Smith, easy. Touchdown, Vegas. Second of the night for him and Joey. That a good answer for the Vipers after the Guardians march right down to school. And Vegas has been so good at running the football uh, in the third quarter, and they cap off a drive running the football. I mean, it, it, it seems like that would be an easy call to make. Perez is playing well. They've been able to run the football offensively. They seem to be doing whatever they want to do. This about which team can finish. Both of these teams have been unable to finish. Vegas coming into the game had yet to trail at any point at the half, but they haven't been able to finish. Can they do it tonight? DeAndre Torrey in the backfield. That's Love it on the pitch. Love it. You got to tackle him in the end zone. Tackle, tackle him. Orlando unable to do anything with that. Ty Smith forced the fumble. You heard Rod Woodson on the sideline yelling, "Tackle him!" That can be returned. But now a 10-point lead for Vegas. It looks like he's going to get to the end zone here. And just a big hit right on the, puts the helmet right on the football, pops up. Now the only question is, can the big fella take it all the way back? Tiffany. Hey, guys, I'm with Rod Smith. And Rod, you just got the touchdown. Yeah. What are you feeling right now? I feel good, man. I feel good. Uh, offense line, they blocking their they blocking they butts off. So uh, we out here, we competing. We're trying to finish this game, play four quarters. We out here, we out here, we just competing. We're staying together. Thanks. Appreciate you. Joey, you heard him say it trying to play all four quarters. We talked to Doug Kazarian about it at the half. When you look at this roster for Vegas, we've seen now every team with Orlando tonight, we've seen all eight teams. Vegas's roster is as good as any in the league. Yeah, and they've had as many chances to win football games as anyone. They've gone into locker rooms up at the half in, in their first three games of the season, hadn't been able to finish it in the second half. This game, you can tell what they're talking about. We have to finish. 
A big hit on the sideline. You see Justin Rogers' his helmet gets knocked off by Brandon Dillon. We were here two weeks ago. They had Seattle, who by the way has now won three in a row and very much of the conversation in the North. They had Seattle beat. Third and five, they throw an incomplete, stops the clock, then Ben DiNucci had a miracle to Josh Gordon as time was winding down. So they can compete with the best team from this league. We'll see if they can't finish tonight or if Orlando behind Quentin Dormady can't get it done. So the point total that closed at 42 is hit. Now it's at 59 and a half as the live lines from Seizures continue to come in. That Latimer out of the backfield. That how Orlando started the game. Some quick high percentage throws. Yeah, I like this throw. And Dormady's been that spark for this offense. He's been able to move the ball. And so they're staying in this game. But somehow, when I mean, you get to the fourth quarter, not only do you have to continue moving on offense, but you have to get a defensive stop and stop Vegas from running the football, taking time off the clock. So we've had three drives in the second half. We've had three total touchdowns, and that's Charleston Rambo had a remarkable catch for its touchdown in the first half in a game right. of 20. Flank right motion, flank right motion, Rip stay, double post F wheel. Rip stay, double post F wheel. Rip stay, rip stay. So outside you're gonna have a post, you have a guy running a flat and then up the sideline. This is trying to take a shot down the field for that big play. So is Darrington the guy that's got the wheel, 26? No, nope, he stays Latimer. in and passes Latimer. What a catch! What a throw, what a grab by Latimer, gain of 31. Here come the Guardians, Nigel Hill on the coverage. Good coverage, not good enough, because a great play by Latimer. It's amazing how well Dormady has played in this I'm game. The you. third quarterback has come in and played extremely well. Is extremely well, good enough for a touchdown on this drive to keep this game close. That's Eli Rogers for five. Here's another look at that Latimer catch. And this is Latimer, just comes in, runs the flat, and then goes up the sideline, man-to-man -man coverage. Latimer, just better than the coverage, goes up, big tight end, makes the play. So second and five, they can get the first down, trying to get a touchdown, trying to get this thing close. That's Dedrick Thomas. That's going to be enough for a first and goal situation for Orlando. Gain of seven. The difference between getting in the end zone and not getting in the end zone is, is blocking by receivers. And out wide, uh, Orlando received, did, just didn't make a block. Needs to make that block. And this is a, and that's an easy touchdown. How were you as a blocker? Terrific. Shocking. Loved it. Touchdown, Orlando. We've got some fun here in Vegas. Six plays, 73 yards in two and a half minutes. Down four. We got an injured player on the field, Maximilian Roberts. Four drives in total in the second half. Four touchdowns. We like that, don't we? Yeah, absolutely. Especially for people that like the over. Which is hit. That's huge. You want one now? Yeah. They call it timeout one. Let's bring in VP of officiating, Dean Blandino, to talk over the decision, because this is the first time I've heard this. Now, once you lock in to what you're going to do as your point attempt, one, two, or three, got to stay there. But if there's an yeah. injury timeout, it looked like, sounded like Buckley wanted to change his mind. No, you're locked in. Once you make that decision, nothing changes it. Timeout, penalty, you're locked into that point, that point total, what you're going for. Okay, it sounded like he was trying to get them to change, but they're going to lock in at one, which is what he wanted to do, because with this conversion, it makes it a field goal, 29-26. Two of four on the season and one-point conversions. Darrington in the backfield. That's Darrington. Can his speed get him there? Darrington, good. How about Orlando 
they won't go away. Both of these teams want their first win of the season. And Joe, it's 29-26. What a on, great defense. play by Darrington. That was all Darrington working there. They had more guys in the box than Orlando could block. Darrington said, just give it to me and I'll make a play. Now he's just, he's just. You, you technically can't call a head he's coach He's being player. selfish You now. can't call the head coach player. <laughs> so Sin Q Sweeting. Trying to make a play on special teams. They've Has a so wedge on the this. right side. There's a flag oh. on the play. You could see the hold right around the 30-yard line. It's a return of Ripping, ripping, ripping. Why they got your fat ass on TV? Get off the field. <laughs> there are two fouls both on the receiving team holding number 15 receiving team that penalty's declined holding number 16 receiving team that penalty will be enforced 10 yards first down so we saw the big catch by Latimer he knows his defense needs to help him out let's go give me a stop Give me a stop. Give me a stop. I believe you. Let's go, baby. TC, give us a stop. Let's go. Give us one. Jimmy, you know what I love about I love that it's 29 26. I love that we've got offense and we're scoring. I'm trying, bro. Yep. But I love that we're going to get to see which team can finish tonight. Because both are responding. That's Tory for five. And Orlando's defense has to step up and stop the run. They, they, they are allowing Vegas to do whatever they want. They're having success running it, and Perez is throwing hey, the ball stack very one well. Hole. They have stack to get a stop hole. and take one stack thing away. One hole. No, no, stay, 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 Turbo, turbo, turbo. That's Tory again. You mentioned that Orlando defense last in the league, giving up 29.3 points a game. Vegas right on that 29 number. And this a big third down because if they can get a stop, they could flip the field in their favor. Hey, go to the flat over there, to the right. Here we go. Turbo, turbo, sit up. Third and three. Pressure comes. Perez gets it off. Wide open receiver downfield. Cam Sutton. And again, Orlando gives up a third down conversion. That one huge. 25 yards. They sent the blitz. Looks like a mistake on the back end. They send the blitz trying to get after Perez. They leave a receiver wide open. They're playing man-to-man -man coverage on the back end. Someone just doesn't cover the receiver down the field. Joey, I mean, it's an absolute coverage bust. This guy's six foot seven, 260 pounds. How do you lose him? It looked like man on the back side. Just nobody paying attention to the tight end. So big play by Perez. Good recognition of the fact that his guy was wide open. They moved the chains here. Rod Smith on first down and a gain of three. Brought down by Terrence Smith. Church left, X shallow check. Brett Hundley started a couple of games for the Vipers, but it's been Perez tonight. It was Perez when we had them last week. 17-22, 225, two touchdowns. Perez is playing a hell of a ball game. Here we go. Yep. Turbo, turbo, sit up. Second and seven. He kind of clutched that back to Sweeting, went back to him across the middle of the field, and Sin Q Sweeting moves the chains after 11. Missed tackle by Smith. How about the double clutch, having time to stand in the pocket, double clutch, and it still throws the ball. It looked like it could have been a clip there in that situation, but Orlando's already used their talent, so there's nothing they can do about that call, but it looked like it definitely could have been a clip. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Turbo, turbo, turbo. Rod Smith tries to bounce it outside, wisely cuts it back up in there. C.J. Holmes brings him down, and a gain of three. 
Both Vegas and Orlando, two timeouts remaining. Clock under nine minutes here in the fourth. You can see Orlando's being more aggressive, trying to shut down the run of Vegas. They realize the clock is not their friend right now. They're behind. They can't allow Vegas just to run the ball down their throat. You wonder if at some point they notice they're being aggressive on the run and try to take a shot downfield. Turbo, turbo, turbo. Play fake. Perez to the sideline, caught. It's good to see Geronimo Allison, who's been quiet all season. He's had a nice night, a gain of eight and a first down. Okay, here we go. A strike strong. All right. 25. We've got 12 person that we're still in guard here. All right. Field stack, star fire strong. zone. Star fire zone. Star left. Star left. Right left. 25. Other side. Other side. Stay, stay, stay. We're good. We're good. Go. We got eight seconds. Come go, on, let's go. go. Hey, zone it off. Zone it off. Turbo, turbo, turbo. Sure. Toy. Good tackle by Maponga. No gain. Brings up another big. It'll be second down. FX's Snowfall is back for its sixth and final season where a feud threatens to destroy the Saints family. Don't miss Snowfall. Wednesday night's 10 Eastern, 10 Pacific on FX and also streaming on Hulu. Jay, what TV show are you watching? That is a really good show. I was going to ask you if you watch Snowfall. I'm guessing no. Here we go. So second and 10, play fake to Smith. Perez forced out of the pocket. And he does a good job getting some yardage. Chased by the big fella, Gerald Willis. It's five yards and another third down opportunity here for Orlando. Yeah, Willis is, is over 300 pounds and trying to make a run to the sideline to chase Perez. And you can see after this play, uh, he looked over the sideline and said, hey, <laughs> somebody come get me. Well, luckily he did a head first slide into the sideline, so he could just stay there after the head first slide. Lay down for a minute, get his breath. Big Gerald Willis went to college at Miami. Hey, we're going to 40. Hey, you got 44. They didn't get the playoff in time. Prior to the delay of game, Vegas has called their second charge timeout. Oh. Timely. Damn, That's on me. Man. Timber, Timber. 180. Wait, the hut. Hut. Tried to get him off sides. Orlando does a bite. Third and five. Perez shot at the end zone. Touchdown, Vegas. I've got Luis Perez for a helmet sticker. That to Jeff Badet. What a drive. Second time tonight we've seen Badet beat the man to man coverage and beat him badly. Giving his quarterback four or five yards of, of open space to throw in the football and Perez delivered. 10 plays, 87 yards, but that touchdown to 35 and 25 yards. And after punting on the first drive of the game, Vegas has five TDs, a field goal, and a missed field goal. They have turned it around as Orlando in the Ponga, an injury play, injured player. Sixty-one combined points. Remember, it's fifty-six and a half, and I. You were scared. Yellow, hey, nervous. No problem. Huddle. Scared money don't make money. Yeah, you're time. absolutely right. Huddle. Huddle. Hey, we got eleven personnel in. We got eleven. Hey, listen, we're going trip right, okay? No, tray right. We're going twenty-four. Twenty-four. I'm one ready. No, no. Hey, I might pull it. There you go. So Perez is going to keep this to make it a 10-point game. Yeah, it's a nine-point game right now, This, is, which is a one-possession game. This is huge. He didn't keep it. He kept it in there, and he probably wishes he would. That was given to Brian Burt. But you heard Perez tell the huddle he's going to pull it. He did not, but a nine-point game here. What a throw to Bidette. Yeah, and Bidette. Man-to-man -man coverage, inside leverage, goes in, gives him the inside shake, goes straight up the field, and Perez has just been on fire, puts this one on the money. 
these quarterbacks, both of these quarterbacks, when you look at their stat line, 20 of 25, 269 yards, three touchdowns for Perez. Dormady off the bench, 16 and 19, 187, and a touchdown. Tiffany? Hey, I'm here with Luis Perez, and Luis, can you take me through that touchdown pass to Jeff Bidet? Yeah, once again, you know, we, we saw the coverage we got, and Jeff made a nice play and won. Made it easy for me. Looking for that first win, how have you maintained such a calm presence in the pocket tonight? Yeah, our guys are doing a great job holding up up front, backs and protection. Guys are getting open, so they're making my job easy. Thanks, Luis. Appreciate it. Yep. Remember, with the scoring structure in the XFL, it's a nine-point game, so Orlando can still take this score, get a three-point conversion, and tie it. Is the kick zone there to Justin Rogers? That's where the ball has to get to. It does fine, and Rogers just shy at the 30-yard line. Joe, we talk about it all the time. That's what we love about this league. Nine-point game with 6:20 in the fourth quarter in other leagues. You're thinking, well. Long shot, but it's now just a touchdown and an extra point. Yeah, it's a one it, it's a one possession game and the way Dormady has played, the way he has sparked this offense, uh, man, man. and, and the way the offensive line has stepped up. Hey. You expect Orlando hey, you to, to continue moving the football. Now can they just punch it in and then get a three point conversion? So first and ten. Thomas in motion. They give it to Thomas on the outside. Vegas's defense all over it. Let's go 11, 11, 11. Dose right, dose right, scat right, 0 4 0. Thinking middle of the field. Dose right, scat right, 0 4 0. F corner, F corner. Orlando, three consecutive touchdowns. Can they keep that up? Dormity over the middle of the field. Did a good job making that read and getting just enough. Gain of six. Charleston Rambo gets back some of that yardage lost to the tackle for loss and brings up third and manageable here. Third and seven. Big play here in this ball game. Can Vegas' defense come up with a stop? Dormity, pressure. Flag on the play. And Joey, that'll almost certainly be holding. 59, grab and restrict at the point of attack, 59. Holding, holding number 59, offense, 10 yard penalty. Still third down. Xavion Furcron, the guilty party. So that'll make it third and 17. Yeah, once again, penalties hurting Orlando. Uh, and their offense has been really good these last three drives. You can see it, 10 plays, 11 plays, six plays, all of them ending in touchdowns. And now they have a third and long. And these are the reasons why teams struggle to get a win, why both of these teams late in games have to find ways to eliminate these mistakes. Seventh penalty tonight on Orlando for 53 yards. A tall ask here on third and 17. Dormady quick shot outside. Caught by Lenore. Sparks on the tackle. Decision time for Buckley, and he's going to punt it yeah, away. Yeah, you got to punt. You, gotta, you have to punt this ball. If, I, if I'm an Orlando in that situation, though, I'm taking a shot down the field in hopes of either my guy comes down with it or maybe even get a pass yeah, interference, yeah. but that play's not going to get you 17. I ask you because now fourth and seven. We got to go for that. The defense has not go done anything. Do we have a fake? Do we have a fake? Running. Running. Do we? I mean, dang, what is going on? They got 12 men on the field. Vegas this time out there. That's their final. Yes. Vegas, Vegas has called their third and final charge timeout. This will be a 30 second timeout. Good. Do what? Do we have? Week five of the XFL concludes tomorrow night, 9 Eastern ESPN2. Renegades take on the Brahmas. Big one in the South, 9 Eastern ESPN2, ESPN Deportes, and ESPN Plus.
can hear Orlando talking about a fake here. That would be an amazing call. Oh, we got to stop him, man. Yeah, I think after the timeout, he called that off. And you heard Terrell Buckley say, we've got to stop him. The defense has been unable to do that. So Mac Brown to punt to Matthew Sexton. So Sexton lets it go. He can salt this thing away. Yeah, Still have a two minute warning. Vegas has been able to run the ball very successfully in this second half. And that's what you have to stop first is the run game. They're on first down for Smith. Gain of four, tackled by Terrence Smith. We got 11. We got it's 11. Crazy the amount of times that Orlando's had a guy in the backfield that just hasn't made a tackle. And that's it. Here we go. Even left. Even left. 24 salt. Keep an eye on that. Well, just play even. Well, we had three guys over here. 24. 24 lock. 24 lock. Here we go. Here we go. Throw, throw, uh, kill, kill. Here we go. Throw, throw, sit up. Come back, come back, come back. Right up the middle for Rod Smith. I say keep an eye on the play clock for a couple of reasons. One, to see how much clock they burn. Two, they don't have any timeouts left, does Vegas. They can't afford any mishaps here with the late game penalty. Yeah, no timeouts, and that means your challenge also goes away. So they don't have the challenge any longer because they don't have a timeout. So they're going to have to get a playoff before the two-minute warning. You know, I wondered if we were approaching history tonight in the XFL. Most combined points in a game. This is your stuff. This is the Joey Galloway special. Absolutely. They hit every over that Vegas threw at him. So third and four. Can Orlando get a stop? Pressure got there, and it's incomplete. So you heard Terrell Buckley get me a stop, and they did just that with approaching the two-minute warning. They're going to get the ball back. Michael Carasosa, just the second punt of the night for Vegas. Justin Rogers situated at his 30. Rogers has space to return this. And gets popped at the 40. The space goes away quickly on the punt return. <laughs> you would know. Yeah, you would think you got space, but it, it goes away very quickly. So a punt of 39, return of seven. Quentin normandy has been in relief. He's been really, really good. Two timeouts remaining and a 61-yard field. Flag on the play to start the drive. Dormady, incomplete, intended for Rambo. There was movement up front. Offside, number 44. Defense, five-yard penalty. Still first down. Same play. Let's hit that shallow cross if it's there. Same play. Ace right. Ace right date. Each team with seven penalties, not how Vegas wanted to start this drive. So first and five, Dormady over the middle. You heard Shane Matthews, let's hit that crossing route. He does to Rambo. Right, Cancun wide spot, scat right. Twins right, scat right, Cancun wide spot. Still two timeouts for Dormady to the sideline. That's going to be a first down caught by Eli Rogers. Remember, touchdown and a three-point conversion, nine-point game after a gain of nine. Joey, what do you call it here? I think they're doing a pretty good job. That last play, throwing it out to the sideline, makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, taking a shallow cross underneath, I don't know how many of those you want to take. You're only gaining three or four yards and getting tackled inbounds. Again, still two timeouts for Dormady. Looks downfield, looks to take a shot. Has a receiver, caught! Touchdown, Orlando! Cody 
Latimer for 45 yards, and we are a three-point conversion away from a tie ball game We're in Vegas. We got three points now. We're going for the 10. Hey. Orlando has gone for three once this year. They're 0 for 1. What a turn of events here in Las Vegas. Three-point conversion ties it. Dormady. End zone. Incomplete. Logan Carter, the intended receiver. So now they have the option for fourth and 15 in lieu of an onside kick. What a game, Joey Gallo. What, a, what an outstanding game. And how about how well Dormady has come in? Their third quarterback has come in and sparked this offense, moving to his left. Hits Latimer, who beats the coverage down the middle of the field, wide open and Dormady delivers. Let me give you Latimer's line. Eight receptions, 124 yards, and a touchdown. Quentin Dormady, 22 of 25 for 256 yards and two touchdowns. Great rule in the XFL, it's one of my favorite. Instead of an onside kick, a team can elect to go for it, fourth and 15 from their own 25. We've seen this be converted before week one, St. Louis. That is, if you are tied or trailing in the fourth quarter. I love this rule, Joey. I really like this rule, too. And, we, and you mentioned we saw one of these converted yeah, by St. Louis in that I first mean, week. Hey. Worth pointing out, Cody Latimer, who's had a big game and just caught that touchdown, he is not in the game here on this fourth and 15. The Giants better be calling back. Dormady drops it. Dormady sacked. Peter Taumoa Penu could have just sealed it for Las Vegas. When they needed it most, the Vegas pass rush comes up big. Three sacks on the night. And it looks like Las Vegas is going to get their first win of the season. And this offensive line has played so much better in this second half. But really, in this situation, and they've been doing a nice job of keeping the defense off balance by running the football. In this situation, it's fourth and 15. You know it's a pass. They're going to turn loose those pass rushers. And they just do a nice job of getting to the quarterback. Remember Orlando, two timeouts. Rod Smith. There's timeout number two. Orlando has called their second charge timeout. 30 seconds in length. Hey. Hey, man, I'm sorry, I couldn't. That's on me. I should have been here. But I did just catch a bomb. All right, I won 4 for 100, I Happy. Hey, Bob. You got, I'm watching you over, you got a corner. Yes, 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 in front of me. Here we go, here we go. Two, 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 two. You saw it, right? Yeah. Flag on the play. Come on, you can't go on that. What is that? What is that? Are you kidding me? There is no foul for roughing the passer. It'll be third down. What is Rod Wood? What, what's Vegas doing? Why would they throw a oh, pass? That far? Yeah. That's a dead play, ain't it? Let's go. We need the first down, man. We can't put it back on our defense. Uh -huh. Freaking no freaking way. No way, no way. 
There's 56 seconds remaining. They just stopped the clock. Orlando with one timeout. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Trouble, trouble, trouble. So there's the run. There's the timeout. Yeah, if you're going to pass it on second down. So if I, Good ball block. All right, so now it, even if Giffen makes it feel good, it's 38-32, and Orlando's going to get the ball back. I, I don't know. Why make my question is why allow them to get in there they're heavy? So Giffen on for a 33-yard attempt. If I could describe Joey Galloway's facial expression right now. <laughs> Flag on the play. Giffen's kick, good. Even if it's offside, it's not enough for a first down, but that might entice Rod Woodson to put this thing away. Illegal formation, number 92. Defense, five yard penalty, still fourth down. Wow. If we won. Do you want, do you want the field goal or do you want no, the count? Did he make it? We're up by three. We're up by three. We're going to have a fourth and one. We'll go fourth and one. Flat. No timeout. Give me a first down. No, it's got a first down. You no, want the foul? No, I'm talking. Yeah. Well, I want the foul, yeah. I want the foul. I mean, so. Orlando, illegal formation defensively. You heard Rod Woodson tell his team, go get me the first down. First down wins this ball game. But that it was even lock. in that position. 24, that's right, 24 locks off. 24 lock, yes, 24 lock, lock. Yes, lock it, yes. You talk about an ill-timed penalty for Orlando. Yep, once again. Here we go, here we go. This is the ball game. Incomplete. Intended for Sin Q Sweeting. Remember, all we need is three now. Fourth, what are they Why? doing? They do we throw them freaking. Hey man, I said go for it. Yo, I didn't say guys, throw the ball. They've ran the ball all night long with ease. Matt Berry. What are we doing? It is unbelievable what is going on right now. And Orlando's getting get an opportunity. Now, albeit 44 seconds left, ball at the 19, no timeouts. We've seen stranger things on this field. And that might just end this conversation right there. Tao Moa Penu has been huge. Second down. Clock under 30. Hey. Yeah, yeah, 59 here. Yeah. 10 second subtraction here, yes. And then it's going to be half the distance to the goal. Yep, got it. False start, number 59. Offense, half the distance to the goal. It'll be second down. This is a 10 second subtraction. Game clock operator, please reset the game clock Lock. to six seconds. And the game clock Let's will go. Start. Let's I'm go. Ready Let's go. Play. It's going to start. The clock is going to start. 10 second runoff. Six seconds remaining. Final play of the game. They've got to get 99 yards. Another false start. That's. Who blew the whistle? What is it? No. That's the ball game. That's Who blew the whistle? Huh? Seven, just give me a number. I've got dudes in my face. Game over. Yeah. False start, number 77. Fence. That foul has a 10 second subtraction. The game is over. 
Las Vegas gets their first win of the season. The most penalized team in the XFL. Right. Cost themselves late. Good game, man. Good game, guys.